Hello all. This is another very important COVID awareness video where we speak to a great friend from Germany. And you know, we ask her and get an insight as to how life is there in Germany. And you know, we can also in our minds compare that with what is going on in our cities. Maybe we can learn a few things, maybe we can, you know, improve on a few things. And at the at the end of it, if you even if we cannot improve, we can at least you know, get some knowledge on what's going on in other parts of the world. So, uh, you know, very happy to have you here, uh, Harneet. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to introduce Harneet. So mm -hmm. Harneet uh, is uh, my friend from Hosharpur in Punjab, and she's worked across India in many uh, big cities in India. And from the past three and a half years, she has been in Hamburg in Germany, where she is working as an architect and urban planner in a mid-sized German architectural and urban planning firm. And you know, uh, she is a very enthusiastic and excited and, you know, <laughs> adventurous girl <laughs> who also loves gardening. So Harneet, I will, uh, so how's your day today? Just give us some, you know, introduction as to um, how's life going on. Um, it's good, it's the weekend today, so I'm free to talk to you otherwise. Uh, it's a uh, working time. Um, nice to have me and so that I can give you some overview about the life in Germany because I think uh, it will help in some cases in India to know people what's happening here and how people are dealing with it, what we can do about it. <clears throat> uh, so let's say from the last year starting since this uh, pandemic began, it has been uh, like strict lockdown since last year, since March. So I was also working that time in uh, as a work student. I was doing my master's that time. And uh, all the companies were totally shut down that time. And everyone was taking out their employees. And they were not sure about what will happen. So they sent, like, I was working as a student, so they said, we don't know what will happen, so we stopped the job for now. So I was uh, pa partially unemployed that time, so I had to find another job. In the meanwhile, I finished my master's and uh, I started looking for a job. Of course, it has been very, very struggling to find a job in these times, but luckily I found in a couple of months, and since that I have been working. So, so it's very good to see that, uh, you know, hear from you and you're giving us actual life what happened with you. And, you know, it is very unfortunate to hear that many people lost their jobs. And, you know, even yeah. you, I was struggling, you know, to, uh, you know, figure out livelihood options uh, being there in Hamburg, Germany. So, you know, I would straight away uh, want to, uh, you know, start to ask you a question, which mm -hmm. you already started to answer, by the way, is how is mm -hmm. everyday life in your city during the pandemic? So you answered, you know, about you given a background from the past. So can, can you tell us mm -hmm. what's the situation right now? As in India, we are facing the second wave. What's the situation there? Uh, right now, I would say it's been in control because we have been in very long lockdown. It's not like it's just lockdown for one month and everything closed. It's been very long lockdown. Uh, last year was few months and then they opened a little bit in summers. And since December, Till now, there is a lockdown, which uh, we are allowed to go out. We are allowed to uh, do, uh, do shopping and stuff only from the supermarkets, but there is nothing else open. We can't sit in any restaurant. We can't uh, go and buy other stuff which are not necessary. So they call this is as a luxury stuff which are not necessary. So only supermarkets are open since December. And uh, other places we can't go out, no gyms, no uh, any other entertainment stuff. So particularly uh, everyone is very much depressed because of this. Everyone is really waiting for everything to open. But, 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 but if you look at it, but keep the depression apart, keep the little sacrifice that you to make apart. You know, mm -hmm. India opened up for a while. And because of mm -hmm. that, we are blaming, you know, that opening up to the pandemic, to the second wave of yeah. this pandemic. And you guys have been in lockdown since December. And, you know, because yeah. of that, you just now told me that things are in control. So maybe that's a good idea. Yeah. Maybe India should have longer lockdowns, which are as strict as you have just mentioned. Yeah, there were very peak uh, 
cases also in between the lockdown in which we were also surprised like how because everything is closed and there were like certain rules i would like to tell you first of all we are not allowed to meet more than one household so if i'm living in one house and i have like a flatmate so we can only invite another household one person or two people who are living together so we are not allowed to meet more than one household which in the end of course helps if someone get tested positive so only one person has to quarantine also outside uh, we were not allowed to meet uh, more than one person also the same one more than one household so the police was always on the round they give fine to people of course uh, people were very angry about it but this helps otherwise you know in uh, germany it's always uh, very dark and gray and cold weather so people stay inside they have nothing much to do uh, to go outside it's always raining and uh, when there is sun everyone wants to go out get excited to have a little bit uh, better time outside and people gather a lot when they go out and whenever there is a sunny day next day there is a peak in cases people make parties and uh, join together of course this is natural this is human tendency but uh this rule has helped a lot of people and recently the from march they started uh, selling uh, rapid test kits so we can buy this uh, kit from the supermarket and they also opened like so many corona test centers for free which are like rapid test centers or drive through centers or we just go there in one second they make a rapid test and you go back and you get your result in 10 minutes so this thing also helped a lot because uh, it has been long lockdown and everyone was home working from home and uh, people want to go to work so what was the solution so they told the companies you have to give the this uh, rapid test kits and and, the... and when you when you say sorry to interrupt you when you say about this mm -hmm. rapid and uh, rap, rapid test kits which you can just buy or you can order online it is such yeah. a great convenience because most people don't yeah. go out for testing because they believe yeah. that if they go out for testing there will be a queue in that queue there is a higher chance of them getting infection yeah, infected true. even if they are not infected so right at yeah. your house if you can get yourself tested i think that's a yeah. great lesson that we need to learn totally of course the results are not 100% true with this but it's 95% i think it's uh, fine and uh, if you have to get tested outside in these centers also we take appointment first there is always like 10 minutes of slots you go there you don't have to stand in the line or like have contact with people so it's very well managed uh, these days with the tests because last year i was facing a lot of problem with the tests because they were very expensive this pcr test here was very expensive yeah and when i was in india last year um, uh, i had it for uh, free so free. i felt okay, it it's a little bit expensive to get tested here than in india i had like three times test in india in one month but uh, here i had to pay like 100 euro for the test before flying and you also once told me about yeah, that you have been getting yourself tested thrice a week when you were going to office so is your office open is your office closed tell us about the office and how does it work and you have to get um, tested yeah it's like uh, recommended to test twice a week okay uh, you put yourself uh, some of the offices provide this test, test kits to all the employees or uh, like in my office we have a nearby test center just Two minutes away from me, so I do like once a week test, or if I have to meet someone, then I make a test before that. Or if I have to travel to another city, I make a test before and after coming. So this is very mandatory, and everyone is doing this with very much responsibility. So you just told us that there has been a lockdown since December, but you also told us that you are going to office, and you also told us that you are going to another city. So how does this work? three <clears throat> um so yeah we we were uh, uh, obliged to test ourselves twice a week but uh, yeah this is everyone's responsibility to test themselves whenever they meet someone whenever they go to another even nearby city especially people are doing this 
to meet their parents or their grandparents because since last year no one was visiting their parents and everyone living in bigger city no one traveling to their villages so they make tests and then they go and visit them and they come back and then get themselves tested so it's it has absolutely so i want to ask you this question you just told us that there has been a lockdown since december but you also just yeah. now told us that you go to office you also told uh, yeah. told us that you went to another city so how does this yeah. kind of a lockdown work where you are going to the office and you are going to another city so um, here they make um, average incidence of one week so if the average incidence of one week of the city has been above 100 cases then they say uh, there has to be very strict lockdown so nothing open and also my city was also very high cases last months and uh, they made uh, like uh, lockdown total lockdown no one can go out after 9 pm in the evening till 6 am in the morning but we are allowed to go out otherwise this is uh, i would say this is not 100% lockdown partial lockdown they suggest to companies to do home work uh, work from home but it's not mandatory so if some companies they don't want to do uh, it's their uh, issue but they have to follow the rules so the rules are in my company we do uh, cross ventilation opening all the windows after every 20 minutes either it was like uh, minus 12 degree in january february it was so cold but still like we were opening the windows every 20 minutes and then um, we have to wear masks the whole day while working also or whoever and always staying in distance we never have lunch together so everyone is particularly sitting on their seat we don't have so much contact with people we have also most of the meetings uh, on our desktop but being an architect sometimes we need to discuss so much on the papers or like sketches this needs so much communication so i guess it works out better if uh, we go to office but they also suggest if someone doesn't want to come they don't want to do work from home like some people travel with the train long distance they were doing work from home okay, okay. Uh, it was also flexible it's not mandatory but they say you have to be careful with all the precautions so that means that you know the onus is on the citizens to be Yeah. to be sure yeah. and you know citizens have to be responsible and totally. citizens have this to be absolutely police themselves uh, you know all the time so the, the citizens yeah. have to police themselves all the time yeah. and it's very happy to hear that uh, it they realize the importance of opening the windows and how dilution yeah. ventilation is important in airborne infection control so yeah. i want to now yeah. ask you another important question regarding vaccination what is the situation mm-hmm. of vaccination have you been vaccinated how is the vaccination mm-hmm. scenario do are, are people getting slots for vaccination what's what's about vaccination in your city um it has been like quite a tough situation with vaccination in europe because of uh, some bureaucratic problem with the european union and all the stuff although like uh, this pfizer and uh, biontech uh, the companies from germany they made this vaccination but it was very late to deliver to citizens here and it was getting very slow uh, to deliver to all the citizens so i would say since uh, they started like two months ago uh, vaccinating people and they were like 80 above it took so long time and then they started 70 plus until now uh, it was very very slow i haven't seen uh, any close person who is uh, vaccinated and there was always uh, talks about like why vaccination is getting so delayed although germany is so organized with all the stuff but i don't know what was the pro- problem at the back end and everyone was criticizing this point and now they before they were providing only vaccination in the big vaccination centers and since 2 uh, 3 weeks they started also with the family doctors so now it's getting a little bit faster so in this vaccination centers they have reached uh, 70 plus age only but uh, the family doctors now started with the normal people with another diseases with the priority uh, citizens first but i'm not vaccinated yet i'm still waiting for my turn and-
and i guess it will take a little bit more so so you know when you when i listen to you i feel little yeah. good about delhi i feel a little good about india in general because here we have vaccinated mm-hmm. vaccinated mm-hmm. a lot of senior citizens vaccinated yeah. a lot of frontline workers healthcare staff and we, yeah. india has started the roll out for 18 and above 18 to 44 years of age and yeah. a lot of my friends lot of my friends of my age and younger to me mm. have started to get vaccinated so you know yeah. that is a little hope that we have in india so this is mm-hmm. somewhere that we can be little happy but of course yeah. being happy in in the midst of a uh, very high cases is not the best idea mm. so apart from mm. that i know i really want to ask you you know so in the in this wave in the past 3 weeks we saw a huge shortage of oxygen a huge shortage of beds so is the your city making makeshift mm-hmm. arrangements in case there is a mass casualty in case there is a everybody rushing to the hospital so are there stadium hospitals are there some makeshift arrangements in your city mm, it has been tough time for doctors and nurses uh, i had some conversation with nurses they are spending a long long time but there never has been such an emergency where <clears throat> there was overflow of the Uh, patients than what they have infrastructure here. They always had enough infrastructure. I remember in the first wave when Italy and Spain were uh, suffering a lot of cases, they also took patients from there and the hospital nearby. They were treating all the patients from Italy and Spain also. And so far, uh, they are doing fine with the infrastructure, with the healthcare, and all. And there never has been any shortage. They already. made a good infrastructure in the starting and there are uh, enough uh, healthcare frontline people also and there has never been any scarcity in that so i guess in this part they are doing good they are very well organized um, and all these people are also vaccinated the healthcare people but uh, yeah of course as you said in india even my family in india is already vaccinated and Uh, i know so many people but here it's a bit slow although like if i compare the population difference of course here is 80 million people and there is like billion of people so of course it can't be um, um you can't compare it also the thing is here um more people with the 80 plus age so it took a lot of time for them to get uh, vaccinated and we have more younger people Uh, you know demographic difference of course there but uh, yeah this part uh, in india it's going good okay 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 yeah. so so you know like you have you have told us about you know home testing kits you have told us about a lockdown in which all the rules mm-hmm. are being followed and then you've also told mm-hmm. us told us about you know how uh, the citizens of the city have taken even though they were angry but they have taken this mm-hmm. on us and they follow all the rules what are the yeah. other steps that you can tell us which we, india can directly adopt for you know improving the situation that we are currently in um uh, for sure it's very difficult to control this big population but of course this rule of being responsible this is not a rule required by government this everyone has to understand i see in india still all the events weddings and functions still happening i don't know what's the need of them it's what's the urgency of getting married or doing all the events in this time doing the political rallies in this time uh, this is too illogical and too irresponsible for me and if these things this normal things stop you don't need to put any rules and if you put rules then this is difficult for indian population to control if i would say yeah you are allowed to meet only one household i don't think this will be possible in india we have such a this cultural difference and we don't have this kind of life where we only meet because here i live alone of course i just go to office and sometimes i meet some friends and i know who i am meeting but there it's difficult to um, manage this this uh, control of connections and other thing uh, the government took step since last year from the starting Uh, they started here they say kurs arbeit means uh, short term work so the employees generally uh, if you do 8 uh, hours work per day you are supposed to do 6 hours work so company is paying you for 6 hours 
and your salary is 30% less and uh, half of this money from the 70% company is paying and half of the money government is paying. So this is such a big initiative. Employees are working less, but they're pay getting paid less, but still it's not a big, huge difference if you get 70% of your salary also in this time. But the government is very helpful to the companies in this phase. In the first phase, they also helped all the small scale firms. They gave money to them. So these were, of course, the initiatives from the government. I, I can't say uh, to take these kind of steps. This is all the uh, different economy. Different economies have different yeah. uh, steps that they can take for their particular economy. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 you know you 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 put a lot of light. And, you know, it, it really, you know, uh, brings in fresh air to listen to what's yeah. happening in your place, what's happening in your city and how life is yeah. there and how your city is dealing with the pandemic. That is a shared value. Everybody mm. in the world today is, you know, faced with this pandemic. Everybody is affected. Some mm, in a very, yeah. very disastrous way. Some mm -hmm. in a very mild way. For some, it mm. is just news but everybody is concerned and everybody is affected. So, you know, mm -hmm. we really, really thank you. And we really, really, you know, we pay condolences to all the people who have lost their lives. Or, and we really congratulate all the people who are COVID warriors and who have actually, you know, done a breakthrough through COVID. And mm -hmm. we also at this moment, thank all the COVID frontline warriors and the healthcare workers. So to close, Harneet, please say something so that we can, end this in a very good tone. Yeah, it's been very hard time for each and every person. Even if someone didn't lose anyone in their family, they had such a big impact with their mental health. Staying home since all this year and having no connections, doing nothing. Some people are jobless. No, uh, you don't see any light to get to earning. It's been very hard time, but uh, we will go through it everyone has to be responsible like i am responsible i wear mask also there is one uh, more initiative like we are only allowed to wear ffp to this uh, masks we are not allowed to wear this um, uh, stuff masks uh, this also helps so everyone be responsible so the f mask that you spoke is the n95 mask is it yeah n95 is also yeah al almost similar i think almost similar okay. yeah okay. We are not allowed to wear another mask in so many months because they did this research that uh, this mask doesn't help so okay. much. Okay. Okay. So if I'm sitting at work, I wear this surgical mask. If I am a little bit closer or I'm in the bus, then I wear FFP mask. Okay. So be responsible and uh, stay home and take care. And you never know. I have heard cases where people also got this sitting at home, but do as much uh, safety as you can. Yeah, thank you, thank you. That's a that's lot of important information and a lot of good wishes. So thank you so much, Harneet. It was really a yeah, pleasure welcome. talking to you. Thank you so much, Raja, for asking me and uh, getting to know everything. So that I can tell people about everything. It was really nice.